hi guys welcome back to my channel so first i want to say happy new year to you guys i'm so happy that you guys made it to 2021 especially after the year that we've had so i know that i have not posted on my channel for a long period of time i think i did a little bit of content in 2020 uh and then maybe a little in 2019 um, but we're going to get into the reasons why and also the ways to not let that happen again for me. Uh, and hopefully this will help you guys. So after the year that we've had, it kind of put everything into perspective for me. Um, one being time is so short. And I know we hear that often, but I think sometimes when things happen, it kind of clicks in your head like time is short. I have no time to waste. We got things that we need to be doing. And then also for me, um, with my four month TDY, it was time for me to kind of step back, uh, away from everyone and just really like, let God speak to me, let God deal with some things that I didn't know, um, I had issues with. Um, but then also just in that four month, four month time to be able to kind of grow a little bit and to kind of give me instructions and directions for the new year. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into this video. So uh, as you see by the title, this is a growing year for me. Hopefully this will be a growing year for you guys as well. So I know when we do uh, New Year's resolutions, starting a new year, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. All right, we're going to throw all that away because New Year's resolutions really never really work. One, because yes, it is something that a goal that we want to set for ourselves um, or some areas that we want to improve on, but we have to do it in a more effective way that's going to help us. So I seen this video on Instagram and it really kind of challenged me to put my words, one, onto paper. And then after I put them onto paper, I'm going to put them into action. So... The video that I saw was a six month challenge. And in those six months, I wanted to get to a certain place. So I'm starting January all the way into June and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So uh, I hope that you guys do these steps as well. So a lot of times we say um, on our goals, like this is what I wanna do, I wanna get fit, I wanna lose this pound, I wanna get, closer relationship with God. I want to save this money, yada, 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 yada. But just saying it does not do anything. It sounds good. It makes us feel good at the time, but that's it. Because once we say it, if we do not put a plan into action, it's just words. So the next couple of steps that I received from the video uh, and then I'll post the link in the video um, in my description box, or I'll try to put it somewhere in this video. Um, but the first thing we have to do, I think, is we have to be real with ourselves. So for me, I have to know what my weaknesses are, what my weaknesses are, what my strong suits are, and really sit down and see what are my goals within these six months. Not only are what are my goals, but are these goals attainable? Because anything we can say like, oh, I want to save $10,000. Okay, but if you're being realistic with how much income you bring in, how much bills you have or other obligations you have, um, is that attainable? So we have to be realistic in our goals. Um, and then we have to know what struggles we have. So if your struggle is spending money, um, saving 5,000, saving 4,000, saving 10,000, if your, uh, income allows it is attainable. If we know these are the struggles that I have and how am I going to combat those struggles? So that moves us on into my six month challenge. So, uh, if you guys want to do this, I hope you do. So I'm going to encourage you guys to do it. So on a piece of paper, uh, and I did this on a piece of paper, but then I typed it up. On the six, uh, on your piece of paper, you're going to title it, obviously, your six-month challenge, the period that you want to do it in. So, mine is January to June. So, um, I'm really starting on Monday just because it is a holiday and a lot of my things did deal with fitness. Um, some of the things I did incorporate already, but uh, for the fitness portion, I started on a Monday just because 
you know, New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we was eating, you know, and, and everything. So, um, on, uh, your paper, you're going to title it your six month challenge, the period. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with your goals. So make sure, uh, you sit down and really understand like, what are you trying to gain within these six months? Um, and make it obtainable. So sometimes we try to put goals that obviously we cannot obtain in, in six months. Um, maybe it's a year, maybe it's a year and a half and just put like your short term goals within those six months. So my first one was, uh, getting a stronger relationship with God and, after you list your goals, I'm going to go through all mine, but after you list your goals, then you're going to list your daily routine to be able to achieve these goals. And then we're going to go on from there. So my, like I said, first one was getting a stronger relationship with God. My second one, um, I'm going to look down my paper because I know them, but I want to say them in order. So my second one was enrolling into class. Um, so I have um 19 credits away until my bachelor's and i kind of put that off one because i was just struggling with uh the degree on which i wanted to do so i've been back and forth with that and so until i really understood like what degree i was going with i just said all right i'm gonna stop taking classes um until i figure out what i want to do so the sec uh, the third thing i'm going to do is or say the third goal is saving five thousand dollars uh, within these six months. So like I said, make it obtainable. So if your income does not, um, allow you to save that amount, it's fine. Everybody, you know, we all have different incomes, uh, different bills, different obligations to where we have to put our money. So just make it obtainable. If it's a thousand, that's fine. That'll be a thousand more that you, that you didn't have before. So Make sure you make it attainable. And the one thing that I did do uh, this prior uh, year's 2020, uh, yeah, 2020, is I wrote down, which I, I always do, I wrote wrote down all my bills, all my obligations, and to see what I had left. Um, and then if you really look, like if you go back and look at um, your, um, I lost the word, guys, your bank account. If you really look at that, besides all of uh, your bills and everything, and look at the, everything else, it'll tell you where most of your money is going. The next one, which is my fourth goal, is to lose 10 to 15 pounds. Um, that one, I, I kind of struggle with the amount just because I kind of like the weight I'm at. I do want to tone up. So I did say 10 to 15 pounds, and then I put like a little slash tone my body up because I kind of I'm okay with where I'm at weight wise but I know a lot of it might be just water weight it might be fat and then I'll you know bring back the weight with um muscle so we'll we'll work with that um and sometimes it's not even necessarily amount it's just how you want your body to look so I want my body to look a certain way um and I might Say I want, you know, it to look a certain way and I might gain weight and it might be muscle and then that's okay because as long as it looks a certain way and I'm I'm being healthy, I'm not, you know, overdoing it, um, then that's the goal. The next one is, uh, which is my fifth goal, is to create and post content two times a month. So that's where I struggle with just because like I said, sometimes I worry about what people are going to say, if they're going to accept it or not. Um, but I'm going to hold myself accountable and I hope that you guys hold me accountable too. So, uh, posting content twice a month is where I want to start out with. And, uh, I got a couple ideas about things and, um, we're going to roll with that. The last goal is just to stay organized. Um, and then that encompasses everything, organizing my home, organized with starting school, work, my, my daughter's school, everything, stay organized. And then once you have set your goals, now it's time to write down how we're going to put these things into action. So my next, um, big bullet or title point is my daily routine. And so your daily routine should 
set up how you're going to execute these goals um, and make it, like I said, obtainable. Um, if you know that you're a night owl and you like to stay up at night, but you want to get up at five o'clock in the morning. All right. It's going to be a sacrifice because our bodies naturally want to do what it wants to do. But in order to grow, we're going to have to get out of our, out of our comfort zone and do things that kind of challenge us. Hence, six month challenge. All right. So for my daily routine, the first thing for me is to get up at six o'clock in the morning and be in bed by 11. So the latter part really affects the first part. So if I'm up late at night, which I'm a night owl, I like staying up, scrolling through social media, watching TV, um, it's going to affect whether I get up at six o'clock in the morning. So that is one thing that I have to be diligent on getting into the bed and I'll show you um, on the rest of my daily challenge or the, my six month challenge uh, where I'm implementing other um, rules into that to help me. All right. So the next thing is I want to pray and read my Bible daily. So um, <clears throat> prayer for me is vitally important, but it's some uh, a thing that I do kind of struggle with um, is being consistent in prayer. So I get up in the morning. My first thing I need to do is pray, thank God, have a conversation with God, and then read my Bible. I will post a picture of January's um, scriptures, daily scriptures. If you guys want to take a snapshot of that, you can. Um, and then it'll help you to stay daily reading the Bible. The third thing is to commit to a workout challenge. So another thing that I've noticed about myself is I like routine. If I am thrown off of my routine for whatever reason, if I'm traveling, if it's the weekend, um, if something happens, it throws me off. I need for my workout routine um, or even my meals to be like set in order for me. Um, so for me to go to the gym and then do a specific workout, I might do that a couple days, but then I'm going to be thrown off because I need for someone to kind of help me, especially when it comes to fitness. Cause I know a lot of times we don't know where to start, um, what to do. And the gym can be intimidating for a lot of people, but, um, I look for challenges. So I look on Pinterest. Um, a lot of things I'll do like the Chloe team challenge. There's a couple of challenges out there. If you go on YouTube, if you go on Pinterest, you'll see those, um, and it kind of helps you, you know, to kind of stay in line and stay on track. And I think a lot of times if we have our goals and we have our daily routines, we set them in order for six months. If you want to do it for three months, then it'll kind of get you into a routine to where it's just a natural thing that you're doing now. It's not something that is a challenge anymore. All right. So my next thing after I stay committed to my uh, workout challenges is my water intake. So... I need to at least drink 50 ounces of water a day. Um, water, we all know, is so good for us. It's good for our skin, all of our other organs, um, but I struggle with that. So 50 ounces a day for me. And I do have a, a jug that kind of puts everything, like what I should be drinking hour by hour. So I'm going to continue to use that to help me um with 50 ounces a day which water for me is a struggle just because it does not taste like anything but i know it's good for me all right next is i'm gonna plan um my day out for next the next day so the day before i'll plan out what i'm gonna do tomorrow um and that helps us to keep on track it lets me know um what is my scripture i need to be reading for tomorrow uh what in the workouts i need to be working out or looking forward to for tomorrow my um food plan, everything. So plan it out for the next day. So when the next day comes, you're not scrambling. You already know what's you what to look for for the next day. Last thing is to clean up the house before I hit the bed. So those are my daily routines. I have everything printed out. I will post it in my room just so when I wake up, I'm always constantly reminded this is the thing that you have to do day by day. And Eventually, like I said, it will not become a challenge, but something that is natural to you. 
All right, so now that you have your goals down, you have the daily routine to help you stay on top of to, to meet your goals, we're gonna put down what we're eliminating. So the next bold print is eliminate. So what we're eliminating. So because I want um, fitness and I want to tone up my body, no sweets. So obviously natural fruits, honey, um, those are okay, but no processed foods. And it's funny because me and my family, uh, which my mom, my, my dad, my sister, brother, uh, we're talking about like starting in January, we're going to eat healthy and everything. So it all kind of lined up. We all have the same mindset when it comes to fitness. So we're all only going to do it for a month, but obviously my six month challenge is still going to continue. So we're, uh, for the month of January, we're not eating any red meat. Uh, we can eat chicken, turkey, and seafood, no processed foods, um, and so the benefit of all of us doing it together is we're all accountable to each other. But the, also the benefit of us being so different is we're all doing it a different way. So I will start off my morning with smoothies. Um, and then I picked up already prepackaged smoothies from Walmart. Um, you can get them, you know, at Walmart, any stores that you shop at, they already have them prepackaged. Or you can kind of make your own. Um, make sure you kind of mixture, um, put some vegetables in the mixture as well. But then my mom is doing juicing. So she's going to juice in the morning and then eat healthy for lunch and dinner. My sister is doing a detox water along with eating healthy. Um, and my brother and dad, I think are just going to eat healthy naturally, but you have to do what works for you. I know for me, juicing is not it just because it's not feeling. Um, and then depending on the, the juice and the, I mean, the fruit and vegetables that you juice together, sometimes they're not, um, appeasing to the taste buds. So my mom, she's okay with juicing. My sister's okay with detox waters and we all have to do what works best for us. The next thing is not to skip any workouts. So I know for us being at home, for the individuals that do work from home, it is kind of uh, hard to kind of get out of the mundane, getting up, sitting at the dining room table, getting on the computer, um, and then being able to have the motivation to work out. So for me, no skipping the workouts. So that is very vital that I plan out my day, uh, the day prior is so I know what workouts I have to do for the next day. Next thing is no missing assignments. And then that helps with not being a procrastinator, being organized, um, all of it, being able to plan out your day before. All right. So when I talk about going to bed, I'm not out. So I stay on TV. I stay on, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all of those, um, no social media after nine o'clock. One, it helps to be able to kind of set your mind and rest it. But then also, um, when you're on these, you know, on your phone so much, especially at night, the light from it makes your mind think that it's still daytime. So if you kind of eliminate that two hours prior, then it helps you get into the mindset where it's time to go to bed. And then the last thing is no eating after eight o'clock. So it really helps with trying to uh, do my meal preps and knowing what we're going to eat at night. And then being at home, you have no, you know, for the individuals that are at home, you have no excuse to kind of go ahead and cook your foods at a decent hour so that you can eat and not be eating past a certain hour. All right, the last thing I put on here was pretty much um, just little snippets of meal prepping. I put in a box, meal prep, save my amount of money, um, Bible study on Wednesday, church on Sunday, and just little uh, encouraging things like, you got this, let's go. And the last thing is be the change you want to see. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, and come along with me. Let's grow together, especially in 2021. We don't have time to waste, guys. Let's go. I'm excited. Uh, and like I said, follow me. Um, and then see the challenges that I'll be posting, see some of the vlogs that I'll be posting to kind of give you an idea of how I'm walking this six month challenge out. You guys got this, write your goals down, write a daily routine down. It's good to just say the goals that you want to do, but you got to put them into action. So I'm ready. 
please put in the comment like some of the goals that you guys want to do to want to accomplish in 2021 in the next six months in the next month um and and make it obtainable for yourself 